Hi everybody, my name is Nushka and welcome to my channel Let's Organize. Okay, I was trying to come up with what am I gonna do for my next video. I have decluttered pretty much everything. I have nothing else to get rid of. If I even try, I have nothing else left to wear or to use if I try to get rid of anything else. So I'm happy where I am at now. But if you still want to see decluttering videos, I made a ton of, ton of them. I'll have them linked in this video. You can check the playlist. There's plenty there to be seen. But yeah, I think I'll do this. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the kitchen. Clean everything, not the cupboards. Obviously I already decluttered the kitchen last week, so yeah. But it's mainly cleaning, wiping the dust, cleaning the floors windows, glass, doors, whatever I have. Please subscribe, like, comment and hit the red bell button so you're notified every time I do an upload. And thank you so much for watching. Here's the quick bit pour. Yeah, that's my deep fat fryer. I'm just changing the oil. Ah. Okay guys, I'm just giving this a little tidy up. Um, yeah, I always like to rinse my plates before I put them in the dishwasher. I don't know if everybody else like this, but I feel like if I don't rinse them off, well, especially if they were there overnight, that they don't come out washed properly or there's something sticky to them. So, yeah, I'd rather give mine a rinse and then when I put it in the dishwasher, they will come out sparkling clean instead of me washing them after I try to empty the dishwasher. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But yeah, I do this pretty much. Unless, uh, unless they are fresh and I'm going to put the dishwasher on, then it's okay. But this way, um, oop, I have to give them a rinse. Same with the spoons. I just rinse everything because I had this problem before. If I didn't, the crumbs would come back and that would just annoy me. And then I always hand wash my pots and pans. I don't bother putting them in the dishwasher, like ever. I should be wearing gloves. I really need to start wearing gloves when I'm doing washing because I love hot water and as you can see this is boiling water. It's not good for my hands. And here comes my husband. <laughs> I always like to, um, since I have so many pans and whatever these are, pots, um, I like to dry them and put them away so there. So it makes the kitchen look clean if everything's put away straight away. Now there is times when I'm feeling lazy I don't do that but yeah most of the time I try to do that. Then I just decide to go through this little corner, give it a little tidy up, wipe the dust. That jar is going recycling and the other two things will be going in the shed. Then I'm just giving this a quick wipe. Sorry about the lighting here. Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous.
I love using this um, bleach spray for kitchen. It's I just it just cleans everything. I love it. And here I am just getting the hop cleaner to clean the hop pit. I hate having stuff on the counters but my kitchen is quite small so I have nowhere else to put them. I would have preferred not to have anything there. I tried putting the spices away before but now I need them there because we do use them quite a lot. It's just the counters would be so much nicer and the kitchen would look so much cleaner if I didn't have stuff sitting there. I use this gray, uh, gray bin for my compostable. Just washing the last few dishes that I collected. And this is me after I cleaned uh, the table and put all that stuff that's in the black box upstairs. And there was a few things there that needed to go in the shed, which I did put in the shed. I was just using Zaflora to spray the table. And now I'm just using my essential oils. I'm using lavender and lemongrass. Oh, I love it. It smells so good. And now as you can see it's dark because I had to make dinner, lunch, I had to do a lot of other stuff and uh, yeah, now I'm just empty the dish, dishes nice and clean. I 
And yeah, look at my sink. I already have dirty dishes piled up there. <laughs> Kitchen is never clean. Like ever. It only stays clean about five minutes. That's it. And now I just tour the floor and then I'll give it a mop. I have to say I love my Dyson so much. So handy. And I love my mop as well. So much easier to clean the floors with this. Okay guys, I finally got my kitchen cleaned. I didn't do as much as I thought I would because, you know, us, we have to make dinner. Uh, I had to do a lot of stuff. So I had to keep stopping and coming and it was annoying, but I got it cleaned. Floor is clean, hoovered, wiped. Uh, I know I could still do a lot more for sure. Housework is never done, so there's gonna be plenty more. I hope you enjoyed this kitchen cleaning video. Stay tuned for my living room, deep clean, and my whole house basically deep clean. So if you like this video, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye-bye.